now let's see how we can make the kite float effect inside of Adobe Character Animator. So to do that, first of all, I'm going to go to file right here and then I'm going to click on import and then I'm going to import this kite file right here. So once I import that out, I'm going to create a new scene out of it so that I have the kite and I'm going to scale this uh, kite effect, uh, th this kite design out right here. So now in order to make it interactive and to make it seem uh, as if the kite is floating, I need to go and open up the kite's puppet right here. So over here, you can see that there's the origin. So I'm just going to select the kite. I'm going to make it uh, um, like unique right here. I'm going to make it independent. And then I'm going to go around and keep the origin point right here. So what I need to do now is make this a draggable uh, item and then I need to make it uh, dangle as well. So I need to go over here and then I'm going to click on dangle. And then if I were to click over here, what happens is that dangle is there. So if I were to go to record right here, you can see that the dangle is taking uh, effect just like this. So now I'm going to go to rig right here. And then if I were to go over here onto dragger, I can add in a dragger over here onto the origin point as well. So once I do that and go to record, this is how it seems. So I can click and drag this around as you can see right here. But what is happening is that the kite is taking in effect, but you can see that the gravity is actually pulling it downward. So what I can do is I can change around the gravity now to make, um, to make it as if the kite is actually floating out. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go around into uh, the, the gravity effect right here. So I'm going to go to physics right here. And then over here, you can see that there's gravity strength. So there's gravity direction, as you can see. And uh, by this, you can see that it is actually pointing downward right here. So I can actually uh, rotate this around right here. And you can see that it uh, now is facing the opposite direction. So as I move this along, you can see that the kite is actually floating now, just like this. So you can go around. So I'm just going to go around and press zero. And that is how it actually looks like. So you can see that that's the kite. And now that's actually floating out right there. So you can go around and change something like the wind strength. For example, you can make it like five right here, or you can make it minus five right here. And it goes to the other direction. As you can see, you can go around onto the strength of gravity. So let's say, for example, five, then uh, it is uh, going down, as you can see. But if you were to go over here and change it into 20, then uh, it pulls it out even further, just like this. So I'm just going to go around somewhere around eight right here. So you can see that the kite is actually floating around just like this, as if it is flying around, as you can see. Maybe uh, I just want to go around till 12 right here. So it do does pull it out a bit just like that. So another thing is I can work around with the uh, dangle effect to make it more squashy and so forth. So you can see that that is how I can actually work around with that as well. So I can go around and change uh, the settings out according to what I want as well. So I'm just going to go around, keep it zero right here. I can increase and decrease the stiffness of the dangle as well and the dampness as well. So depending on the option that you apply over here in physics, the way of how uh, this actually changes right here, the level of floatiness that changes uh, actually uh, changes how the kite float uh, effect actually takes place. And that is how you can make kite float inside of Adobe character uh, animator by using the dangle and the gravity effect. So if you guys learn something as always, and as always, please like, comment, share, and subscribe.